one of the last bits of an ancient plate that covers this planet is dying. And this is the Juan de Fuca plate off the coast of Oregon. This is a very interesting spot. This spot I figure as being very key to what is happening over here on the west coast because it is just a small tiny bit of plate that is diving underneath the North American plate. And now they're saying they have discovered what they thought was a hole is now a crack that is 93 miles long. And that when this southern limb decides to completely tear off, it could generate some big quakes with some tsunami waves that would affect the East Coast big time. This could also trigger some events with the Cascadia. Since it's tied all into it here, this area has been a spot I have watched for a long time because I've always felt like this is just the perfect area to generate just this. Now we're seeing more proof and more evidence of that. And that if this southern piece does rip off at any time, they're saying it indeed will generate some big quakes that are going to be felt. Now, they go over a lot of this here in, in different ways, with different video clips showing the motion of it, the history, some of the volcanic activity along the Ring of Fire there in Oregon and California, and how it's all connected. Even the sediment, the, the color of the magma that's coming up, they connect to certain plates and certain things that have dove underneath these regions in the past. And this is a motion that has been underway for some time here. This plate trying to dive underneath of it. Now they're saying the southern limb down by Eureka is tearing away. And that's interesting because often on the earthquake map off the coast of Eureka out there, we see small quakes all the time tinging. So for what it's worth, I wanted to put this additional information out there connected to the Juan de Fuca plate because it ties into everything out there. They could lead to a big one happening or a tsunami event off the coast. I'll leave links below. Follow me on Twitter for more. This has been Dabu7. Much love.